Full Summary One Piece Chapter 1091 Title Sentumaru Color spread in the cover The Straw Hat crew is eating pizza Sanji and Jinbei are cooking them While Luffy, Nami, Zoro and Usopp are eating a big pizza with two elegant flamingos Chopper and Brooke are sitting at another table eating too Robin and Frankie don't appear Chapter starts with pacifistas and Vegapunk Sea Beast Weapon attacking Marines. Sea Beast Weapon sink some Marine battleships. Two Vice Admirals battle with them. Doll kicks one pacifista in its face. The Vice Admiral with multiple chins uses a mechanical arm, like Zephyr in Film Z, to punch one of the Sea Beast Weapon. Cut to Kazaru vs. Sentumaru. Kazaru kicks Sentumaru. His entire body flies away because of the attack. Kazaru. Why are you siding with a pirate, Sentumaru-kun? Sentumaru. Will join with anyone to save Uncle Punk. Sentumaru's flashback starts. We can see Kazaru, Vegapunk and Sentumaru first meeting. It's the same story that Oda explained in One Piece Volume 106 SBS. I will add that SBS question at the end of this summary for people that didn't read it. Kazaru was the one who accompanied Vegapunk to help the villagers from theirs and they met Sentumaru there. Vegapunk hired Sentumaru as his bodyguard and Sentumaru asked Kazaru to teach him how to fight to become a good bodyguard. Back to the present, Kazaru uses Yasukani no Magatama to attack Sentumaru. After that, Sentumari uses Ashigara Dako to attack Kazaru but Kazaru stops it without using his Logia Fruits power. Kazaru, thought you as good as I can, but my guard won't lose to yours. After that Sentumaru is defeated by Kazaru's beam. Then Kazaru uses the command chip to command pacifistas and make them fight Vegapunk's sea beast weapon. Kazaru, just fulfill my mission, Sentumaru-kun. I wished I could have saved you along with your punk records and power plant. We can see a close-up of Kazaru's face. He looks quite a bit more serious and angry than usual. Cut to outside of the Labo phase, we can see that Vega Force 01 is carrying the Sunny to the other side of the island. At the same time, Kazaru flies through the barrier. Inside the Labo phase, Ruchi attacks Vegapunk but Stussy uses her body to protect him. Sanji takes the bubble gun from Nami and traps Kaku inside a bubble ball then Zoro attacks Luchi, both of them go through wall and flies outside the lab. In the last page, we see that Kazaru is about to follow Vega Force 01, but Luffy appears and kicks Kazaru. Luffy. Kazaru. We are 100 times stronger than two years ago. End of chapter. Break next week. One Piece Volume 106 SBS question about Sentumaru past, thanks to Eden Bobby. Oda. Marines received a report saying that wild bears are attacking human villages on a certain island, and Vegapunk accompanied them to set up a system to fight bears. When the Marines were investigating the dangerous mountain, they came across a boy who defeated all the bears with Sumo and Rain as the boss of the mountain. And that boy was Sentumaru. He was a boy who was abandoned by villagers due to his violent behaviors when he was younger. Intrigued by the strength of that boy who didn't return to the village and is always hungry, Vegapunk hired him as his bodyguard. 